How do snakes eat their food? What sorcery is this? Do they have jaws that they dislocate or do they have insanely stretchy cheeks? We'll find out in today's video. Creatures, it's Em and I'm back today with more majestic noodles to show you how a snake eats. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Em and this is my little baby girl, Ka. She's been with me now for about 12 years and she is a ball or royal python. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the creature crew and also hit that notification bell down in the corner there so you don't miss a single upload. Today's video comes with a hiss. Claimer. The his claimer being that I am going to be feeding two of my snakes mice tonight. They are frozen thawed mice. They are not mice that I bought and then killed. They are mice that I buy pre-killed, frozen. They arrive like little packs of chicken and I basically just thaw them out in warm water or just for the day until they're nice and soft. So there's not going to be any death in this video. Do not worry, but you will be seeing snakes eating food. So just Want. So, to really understand just how a snake eats, we first of all have to look at the anatomy of a snake. Let's go! Whoosh. So this here is a snake skeleton. You may be surprised to see that snakes do actually have bones, and this might be surprising to you because snakes are so slithery and so flexible. You can easily be forgiven for thinking that snakes do not have a single bone in their bodies. But just like dogs, cats, rabbits, and guinea pigs, and even humans, snakes do have a skeleton on the inside. They are vertebrates. Along with a spine, ribs, and even a skull, they do have an upper and lower jaw. And it's in the jaw that we can see the evolutionary genius which allows snakes to swallow prey many times the size of its own head. Just like us humans, a snake's jaw is made out of bone, but unlike ours, it's missing a fused chin. The absence of a fused chin means that the jaw is incredibly flexible. Not only can their upper and lower jaws move up and down, they can also slide slightly move forwards, backwards, as well as side to side. In us humans, our jaw joint is right here. However, in a snake, it's set much further back, which enables them to open their mouth much wider than we can. When a snake has found or killed its own prey, it will find the head of the prey item, and it will begin to swallow the prey head first. Snakes don't eat things head first just to be really gruesome. The reason why they swallow items of prey head first is because by swallowing the head first, everything else falls into alignment and makes the prey item much more streamlined and easy for a snake to swallow. Now, if you are a snake keeper, you may have encountered your own pet snake attempting to eat an item of prey backwards as this girl sometimes does. This is an unhealthy or particularly unusual behavior in a snake. However, it does make the process a bit longer and a bit more tricky. In Carr's mouth and in most snakes' mouths, you will find backwards pointing teeth which look just like really sharp meat hooks. You might think that having a mouthful of backwards pointing teeth might be counterproductive when it comes to swallowing an item of prey, but it's not. It's actually really helpful. And snakes will use those backwards pointing teeth to help them walk their prey to the back of their mouth. The way they do this is by using those jaws, those really flexible jaws that can move not only up and down, but also a little bit side to side and a bit forwards and backwards. Just so you know, when I open my hand, you will be seeing a dead mouse. If this is going to upset you, I suggest that you stop watching the video now. So this is a frozen thawed mouse. I buy these in packs of about 50 and um, I get them in lots of different sizes because I need to have lots of different sizes for all the different kinds of snakes that I keep. Um, yes, I am touching it with my bare hands. No, it doesn't really gross me out. It's actually far cleaner than touching uh, raw chicken or raw beef. I will absolutely wash my hands later. Although if we're gonna speak of germs very quickly, um, there's probably fewer germs on this than the person whose hand you last shook. I am hoping that my Mexican black king snake snake Medianoche will have no problem whatsoever in finding this tasty mouse. There is my Mexican black king snake. This is Medianoche. Medianoche means midnight in Spanish, just in case you didn't know. And Medianoche, as I said, is a Mexican black king snake. I am hoping that Medianoche is hungry. Medianoche has not eaten for about seven days now, so that's quite a long time for a Mexican black. So Medianoche is currently cruising around on the floor using that tongue in order to detect any moisture and any scent particles which would give away that there might be an item of prey. So he should double back this way. 
We can tell from his behavior that Medianoche is interested in this mouse. He has slowed completely down and he's nudging it and tasting it gently with his forked tongue. And the mouse is currently just here where this little bulge is. It's going to continue down a small amount until it hits the stomach where it will digest for the next couple of days. Now some of you might be thinking, hang on a second, how is it that a snake can eat something several times the size of its head? but it doesn't suffocate. How is it possible to get air into your lungs when your whole throat is closed and dedicated to swallowing an item of prey? Well, that's a fabulous question and I'm glad you asked. The snake's glottis is actually situated at the bottom of its mouth near the front and when it's swallowing its prey, it can enlarge its glottis and actually pull air into its body through that glottis. You'll sometimes see this when larger snakes are eating. You can literally see something that looks like a gross fleshy pipe hanging out of a snake's mouth. That's how it breathes when it swallows. No, I'm not the food. This is pork chop. She is a western hognose snake. This is a very popular species of snake that people will keep in captivity. And they are called hognose snakes because you can see they've got a little shovel-like nose, which makes them look a bit piggy. So it looks a bit like she's got a little piggy snoot, hence the name, a hognose snake. She's very interested in the smell of food. Can you see how rapidly her tongue is flickering in and out? So she knows that there's a mouse somewhere. She's moving very slowly, very methodically. This is a brand new space for her. I'm not sure if she's really going to eat, but she certainly looks to be showing interest. Not in the, not the floor sausage. You can't eat the floor. Here, try, try this. Whoa, there we go. She is definitely, yep, there we go. Lucky that was not my fingers. All right, now hog noses tend to eat pretty quickly. Her jaw is even wider set than most other snakes. So this rodent is gonna be a piece of cake for her. From the top, you can already see that walking motion. You see what she's doing? Just imagine all those jaws, that top jaw and that bottom jaw working back to front, side to side, up and down, walking that rodent back towards her throat.
888, I'm not food. Easy. So pork chop has a really amazing predatory instinct. She has a very strong feeding response as it's called. So I'm gonna have to be really careful the way that I pick her up because she thinks that I'm food. Look at that. She's really gonna try and go after my hands because she thinks that I'm food. You see that? So I'm gonna pick her up very gently letting her know that I'm not food and I'm just gonna put her away for the next few days. And that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and finding out a bit more about how snakes actually eat. I personally find it fascinating when animals eat. I love watching my snakes eat. If you want to see more snakes eating, you can check out my feeding all my pets video, which you can find in the description box below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye.